Hey guys, we're here for another figure review. This time on the Count Dooku Clone Wars figure, coming from I think wave three. So you see him right there, and here behind him is the package. Let me just zoom in, so you won't have to move that right there. There's the image. And sorry for the price. It's in Philippine peso, by the way. There you go, the Galactic Battle game card and the die. They didn't remove right there. Okay, so let me just move the package to let you look at the back. So it's right there. Here you see the image of the figure and the image of Count Dooku from the animated series right there. Okay, so below you will see the description of Count Dooku and then again below that the other characters or the figures that's available that comes with the same wave in the same wave. Okay, so Let's take a look at the accessories of this figure. Of course, let me show you his lightsaber here. Oops. Of course, you have red lightsaber for a Sith. There. And the weird shaped hilt as it is from the Clone Wars, right there. So, another accessory, of course, you have a stand here. Nothing special about that. So, of course, here we have the hologram of Asajj Ventress. There. So, if you get a hold of the Asajj Ventress figure, and I have it right here. Asajj has her own hologram of Count Dooku, so they kind of go together, I guess. They're like speaking to each other to, through this hologram. This is Count Dooku's hologram right here. Anyway, we're not talking about so Asajj, so let's put her there. Okay, so another one of his accessories we have this one you can actually move this you can interchange his hands so you have this one to make him look like he's doing one of his powers there okay so there you go with the accessories you also have oh, sorry i forgot he has a removable cape right here just a simple looking cape. Okay, so the letdowns of this figure is that you have only ball jointed head, shoulder, swivel shoulders, swivel elbows, swivel wrists, and then swivel legs. And that's about it. So the letdown is that you can move his knees right there. So you can pose him into different positions, just that. And then another letdown is this hand right here. It can't grasp anything and it's weirdly shaped. So I took it off and changed it with this hand right here. So that's about it with this figure. If you want a Count Dooku from the series, then maybe get one of these, but I really don't recommend this figure. So thank you again for watching, hope to see you again next time.